Um, I can see here that he's used layers and he's done a good job. So let's, let's reel it back here and I will walk you through it. I'm going to go up to my finder. I'm going to put in acorn. There it is. I'm going to click on it. Okay. Here are my tools over here. Please feel free to experiment with the tools. And then over here is where my, on the right is where my layers are going to appear. So file new. I'm just going to use the preset that's already been selected for me. I'm going to say, okay. All right. So the first thing I want to do is just for yucks, you guys can play around with some of these drawing applications. This is the pencil. Oh, what if I make it smaller? Right? Whoops. There it goes. There's a delay. The other thing that you can use is to adjust the opacity. I'm over here on the right now. And you see here, I'm making it lighter and darker as I slide the bar. Also, if you look, I'm on the first layer. If I didn't want to see this layer at all, I could click that eyeball off. Eyeball on, eyeball off. Where is she? What's she doing? I'm over here on this, on the right hair. Okay. Now, sometimes you want to adjust the opacity so you can um, see what's happening between your layers. Now, I'm just going to get rid of this because I was just playing around. Um, actually, you know what? I'll play around a little more so you can have that knowledge. Um, what's this? We got splotches. Oh, it's smudge. This is a smudge feature. So right now I'm, I can blend these if I want to. So that's pretty cool. And that's nice if you're trying to fade one image into another. What else? It's been a while since I've used since I've used the program, so it'll be good for me too. Okay, I want to change the color. Or I want to see what happens to this. Whoops. Oh. Is that what I want? Oh my gosh, what have I done? Let me look about the opacity. Have I gotten rid of everything? Who knows? But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Command Z. Undo it. There we go. And see, I can Command Z and go back to anything that I want. All right? And at any point, I can save. File, save as drawing number one or whatever. Okay, so now I want a blank um, surface. So file new. Okay. I want to start with a background image and as described in the assignment, surrealism is when we put things together that are beyond real, like unrealistic. So I'm going to look for, I'll look up, um, an image here and say space images. And this is pretty cool. So I'm going to Command Shift 4 and just capture that there. So that will be on my desktop. And then I want to do have something flying through the universe. What should it be? How about Gumby? You guys don't even know who that guy is probably, but it'll be fun. Here we go. Here he is. I'm going to use this one. Command Shift 4. Yeah. And then I'm going to do pizza. I should just just said slice. Because I want to slice. Pizza slice. That looks good. Command shift four. So now I have these three things. I'm going to put them together. All right. Let me minimize that. So let's get back to here. Um, so layer number one. Oh, geez. I got so much on my desktop. Can you believe it, you guys? How messy it is? So let's say. I'm going to do. Oops, I'm on the wrong document. That's okay. There's one. So now I'm just dragging my images over to create my layers. Now, what if I just want to get rid of this layer? So selected layer, not visible, make visible layer. 
Okay, I just deleted that layer by pressing delete. Okay, now, here we go. Now, why is that happening, Command Z? So, also you can order your layers by sliding them up and down. So the first thing I wanna do, dang it, I wanna get rid of that. I'm gonna be on this, okay. So now, I've highlighted the layer on the right, which is this space image, and I wanna make it bigger. So, oh my gosh, why is that happening? Stop doing that. File, edit. Okay. I'm gonna make this image bigger. So I go to layer, rotate and transform, and scale and rotate. So now I'm going to pull it. There's lots of different ways to do these things. This is just the way I know to do it. So that was layer, select image. Okay, now that's good. I'm gonna move on to the next layer. It's gonna say, this is what you want. I'm gonna say yes. So now you're like, well, I, I can't see my other stuff. Let's do this for starters. There we go. Adjusted the opacity. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna work on Gumby. Whoops. Oh my gosh, stop doing that. Get out of here, please. Get out of my life. All right, now I'm on Gumby. Layer. Rotate and transform. Scale and rotate. I want to turn this. So I'm looking for. There it goes, that little turn icon. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, maybe I'll have him standing up and he's riding the slice of pizza. That's what I'll do. So here he is. Whoops. And you know, I'm gonna eventually put him on this piece of pizza. Good. Now, apply. I'm gonna move on to the piece of pizza. Again, I'm gonna do layer, rotate and transform. Scale and rotate. Now, I need to get rid of all this stuff around Gumby. Right, so one of the th I'm gonna to go to the Gumby layer. I'm on there now. Good. I'm gonna take the eraser, and I'm gonna erase all around the edge of him. Now there are other tools you can use. This is just kind of like an easy starter. Now that eraser is pretty big. I can make it smaller, right? So I'm getting some of these. Finer details. And then also I can enlarge the screen so I could work on, you know, like individual pixels almost. All right. Do, 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 do. Now the background is dark, so it should kind of blend itself naturally. We see the slice of pizza there. Now, what happens when I turn the opacity back up? Well, here's the thing. I need, I need to put these guys forward. There we go. So there's him, then there's him, then there's this guy. I'm turning it up. So again, what's not working here? Obviously, I need to get rid of the white of the pizza. Go to the pizza. I'm gonna use the erase tool, I'm gonna make the eraser bigger. And so on. What else could go in this? It could be words. I could draw on there. But this is just to show you how you use your layers, right? So now 
I have a surrealistic image of Gumby riding a piece of pizza in space. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye. Save as Gumby in space. Gumby space. Okay. And then also I'm going to take a screen capture, command shift four, or a screenshot of this so I can submit it to the Dropbox. So feel free to play around. This is the assignment for this week though.